Man, I am on a TikTok roll today. So since I'm here, I wanted to talk about chemo side effects. Something that I learned during my breast cancer journey was that you are not guaranteed to get every single side effect. Don't freak yourself out. Stuff like hair loss, I mean, oh, that's cute. I am six months post chemo and this, this is what I'm, this is what I'm working with, but your girl used to be a bald baddie and uh, stuff like hair loss, that is almost guaranteed depending on what chemo regimen you're on. But um, when I was first diagnosed and I joined breast cancer Facebook groups and was learning as much as I could about what was uh, in store for me, um, I would sit in my recliner next to my husband and I'm just like scrolling and I'm like, oh my God, this can happen or that can happen. Poor husband was like, babe, just because it happens to them doesn't mean it's going to happen to you. And I was like, wow, that's very true. So just mentally prepare that what happens to me or Susie or Sally or Sharon or Bob or Billy not guaranteed to happen to you. Each of these cancer journeys is unique and that's why they call it your journey because everybody's journey is personal to them. You know, things that happen to you are not guaranteed to happen to somebody else and vice versa. Uh, there's a lot of different factors, your genetic makeup, what type of cancer you have, what the stage is, is it hormone fed, is it triple negative, and this applies to other cancers as well. So take what you hear from other people's side effects and what they've gone through in their journey with a grain of salt. It is not guaranteed to happen to you. Um, for example, I assumed I was going to be like bedridden the entire time I was on chemo. So I ended up deep cleaning my bedroom thinking that I was going to be living the next six months in bed and my mom was going to have to come over and take care of me because I didn't have the energy to get out of bed or I was throwing up. Well, spoiler alert, that was not the case. Yeah, I had some really, really hard fatigue days, but I was never bedridden. Like I could get up and make it to my recliner and I spent a lot of time in my recliner, but at least I was hanging out in the living room and that for me made me happy. Um, I was able to get up and use the bathroom or shower and do general things like I was never nauseous. I'm one of the lucky people and I know that people that make it through chemo without getting nauseous are few and far between, but it does happen. So originally my chemo nurse told me, take your nausea meds around the clock. It is easier to prevent nausea than it is to try to treat it once it gets bad. And so for like the first two or three days, I did take the nausea meds as prescribed. And then it turned out I didn't need them. So I'm one of the lucky ones. So the whole moral of the story is take all of this with a grain of salt, be mentally prepared, be physically prepared if you can, you know, buy some things to make your journey a little bit easier, but don't stress yourself out. A cancer diagnosis is stressful enough as it is. And other than, other than beanies, I don't think there was anything I bought. Oh, okay. I lied. I bought beanies. I bought the vomit bags and I bought the Preggy Pops and Ginger Chews. I bought those proactively before I started chemo and I never needed the Ginger Chews. I never needed, okay, I lied again. I did need one vomit bag, but luckily I didn't throw up in it. That was from a migraine. That is not a, a side effect of chemo nausea. So we do still have the vomit bags. They are very handy. You know, if your kid is not feeling well, instead of like praying they're gonna make it to the toilet in time, having a stack of vomit bags from Amazon is very, very handy. I'm gonna keep those in my arsenal for the rest of my life, but I didn't need it because of chemo nausea. So those are a few things I did order proactively, but the rest I just bought as, as needed. So. Do what makes you feel better. Um, yeah.
Okay, I feel like I'm starting to ramble. I hope that was helpful. Take everything with a grain of salt. Take it one day at a time. It is rough, but you will get through it. If I can do it, you can do it too. Okay, I love you guys. I'll talk to you later. Bye.